said to now and in this video i'm going to be showing the program for my lego minecraft farm and farm first smart club if you haven't seen the original video click the pop-up banner over there let's get started here's my smart club program and you see here um it starts with this um block right here called when program starts and i've set the orientation and volume right here and here it's a current minute variable that has a value from 0 to 1440. And reason why it's still 1440 is because there's 1440 minutes in a day. So there's 24 hours. And in each hour, there are 60 minutes. And 24 times 60 is 1440. So that's why it's still 1440. But to make to to explain this program, I'm gonna make this to 419, and and 419 represents 6:59 in time. And the re and how how I got this number because 60 times 6 plus 59 equals 419. Let's see how my smart clock uh, reacts to the time 419. The smart clock is down right there. Take a look. It is saying it's 6.59 a.m. Then I'm going to start to count from 20 seconds. Okay, it's starting to count to 7 o'clock a.m. Did you see that minute hand move for 7 o'clock? It's time to wake up. And it reminded me it's time to wake up. And it writes 7 o'clock a.m. one last time. Okay, so now that you have seen how my smart clock reacts to 419, let's check out this 4-hour loop right here in the main program. The first block here is broadcast show time. And the broadcast show time will start this program right here. It's a big one. And um, they'll get started. So here it says set hour to the floor of current minute divided by 60. So the floor of current minute divided by 60 means if you, it'll help if you draw a number line. And if you have six in the starting point and seven at the ending point, you all, floor means always you'll have to round down. So, so six is what you get if you round down. So the hour now is six. And the minute now is the current minute mod 60, which means 419 divided by 60, and its remainder is 59. So the, uh, the current minute is 59. So the, the answer for 419 divided by 60 is six on remainder 59. And if you take that R and replace it with a colon, then it's 659. But you may be wondering, is it 6.59 a.m. or p.m.? Let's find out. To find out, we are going to check a few booleans, the answer true or false. If the hour now is equal to 12, set a.m. or p.m. to p.m. Hour now is not equal to 12, so that's false. If hour now is greater than 12, change hour now by negative 12 and set a.m. or p.m. to p.m. 6 is not greater than 12. So that's false. Let's move on to the last boolean. If hour now equals to zero, set hour now to 12. That's also false because um, the hour now is six, not zero. So we'll do this last block right here. If all of those are false, set AM or PM to AM. Okay, so we know that the time is 6.59 AM, but we need to know how we should write it on the hub because this can write digitally. So if the minute now is greater than nine, yes, that is true because 59 is greater than nine, we're gonna use, it's gonna write like this. Not like this because it has a zero and it's not, um, it's not like when you see 608, it's not 6059, so it's gonna be this one. So the hour now six on a colon, the minute now, so, so far we have 659, AM or PM, it's AM. 
6.59 a.m. And here's another variable called quote shown, which has the values, has value from zero to one. And it, and the quote shown um, sees whether or not uh, a quote was said and written. If current minute equals to 420, start sound wake up, it said the quote, and then I'll write the quote, time to wake up. Then I'll set quote shown to one. But that's not true because um, it's not equal to 420, it's 419, the current minute. So the program will skip that one. If the current minute goes to 530, start down from school in five minutes, write school in five minutes, and then it will set quote shown to one. Though that is also false, but all of these are false because I um, the clock won't remind me anything at 6.59. So we let's go to the full here at the bottom. So until bedtime. Okay, if quote shown equal to zero, that's true because it, it never reminded us to do something. So this will repeat two times. It will repeat the time two times. And like I said, it needs to write the minute correctly and the time. So it's gonna write this one. Yeah. And then at the end, it will also do this part. So it wrote the time four times. So one up there, and then here's a two, you see repeat two. And then here there's another one. So when all of this is done, it did it in 20 seconds. So there's a wait block right here for 20 seconds. So then it will run the rest of the 40 seconds of the minute because 20 plus 40 is 60 and there's 60 seconds in a minute. So you see the Hubble write all of these seconds right here. Okay, so now I had the motors. So the motor B is the minute hand in the clock. So it will run um, left for six degrees. And motor D, the hour hand, will move very little bit to the left because the hour hand moves very little bit to the left at 0.5 degrees. And if you don't know how I got these numbers, do some geometry and then you'll get it but if you still don't know hit me up in the comments and i'll be happy to answer okay the last boolean we have to check and then the full minute is done if current minute goes to 1439 which is basically uh, 12 a.m set the current minute to zero because 12 a.m is the new um day and minute but if it's not um if that's not true because it's not true, that's where here we are at the else. We'll change the current minute by one. And this routine will happen again. So the left program will get broadcasted again. And this will just keep on running and the wait for 20 seconds will happen. And what I showed you will all happen again. So now it's 420, the current minute. So it's seven o'clock right now. Let's see what how um let's see what the clock will do with seven o'clock. Okay, here's a program, it's regular. So it will happen from this four hour again. It will broadcast show time. And when the show time happens, the hour now will be floor or current minute divided by 60. So between seven and eight, it will always round down because it's floor. So then it's seven. So the hour now is seven. And the minute now is current minute mod 60, which is 420 divided by um, 60. But then you notice it's only seven. So if it is only seven, you know that a new hour started and all you have to do is put a colon and two zeros. And that's it, you got seven o'clock. Is it a.m. or p.m.? Let's find out with these three booleans. If hour now is equal to 12, set a.m. or p.m. to p.m. That's false because hour now is not equal to 12, it's equal to seven. If hour now is greater than 12, change the hour now by negative 12 and set a.m. or p.m. to p.m. Um, the seven is not greater than 12, so that's also false. Let's go to the next one. If hour now is equal to zero, set hour now to 12. That's false also. So it will do this block, like for the 6.59, it will set a.m. or p.m. to a.m. So we know it's um, seven o'clock a.m. So now we need to know how to write it for the people who like to read it digital. So here, this part changed. So let's, let me explain it. Is 
If the minute now is greater than 9, it will do this line. But it is not. 0 is not greater than 9. So we'll do this block. And the minute now is 0. So then um, we're going to do join our now, which is 7, a colon. But then it has a 0 right here. And the minute now is 0, so it has the two zeros. And then it will have the a.m. or p.m. So it's 7 o'clock a.m. Okay, here it's going to... Um, um, set the clock shown to zero. And you see here, if you saw my earlier smart clock video, seven o'clock is the time I wake up. And you see here, it's currently going to go to 420. It will, um, it will say and write the quote and set quote shown to one. And since I only wake up that time, all of these are false. So let's scroll to the very bottom. And here we are. So if the quote shown is equal to zero, this will be two times to right. But quote shown is not equal to zero. Remember, it was equal to one because I woke up that time. It, got, it reminded me to wake up. So here, we have this part here. So it'll, no matter what, write this. So in 659, if there's nothing to remind it, it'll write the time four times. One, two, three, four. But here, if it's something to get reminded, like... On 7 o'clock, I wake up, it'll write the um, time, then it'll say and write the quotes and time. So it's, you would want to print time, 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 time for like times like 6.59 where it doesn't remind me. But um, times where I'm reminded, let's say time, quote, time. Okay, so then after, like I said, it, um, it took the 20 seconds, and then after 20 seconds, the rest of the 40 seconds happen. We scroll all the way down here. And the minute hand moves for six degrees to the left, and the hour hand moves 0.5 degrees to the left. And like I said, if you don't know, just hit me up in the comments. And if the current minute is equal to 1,439, which is the end of the day, set so current minute to zero, but it's not the end of the day yet. So we're, it's gonna go to the else, change current minute by one. So I did I did um, 6.59 a.m. and 7 o'clock a.m. This can also respond to um, p.m. So let's say we're at 2 o'clock p.m. So um, we're going to check 2 o'clock p.m., which is um, the time I end school. So you see it's school done equal to 8.70. So 8.70 is the value. Um, we would use for 2.30. Okay, so the current minute would be um, 870. So here, we're going to broadcast show time. And here, when I receive show time, this will happen. So the floor would be 2 because the number line starting point is 2, and then the end point is 3. So then the bottom part is 2, so it's 2. And the minute now is the current minute mod 60, which is um, 490. I mean, 870 divided by 60, and you'd get 30 is the remainder. So here, this part might get a little bit tricky, so watch here. If hour now is equal to 12, set AM or PM to PM. That's false. But the next statement is true, and I'll tell you why. If hour now is greater than 12, change hour now to negative 12 and set AM or PM to PM. And you'll be, you might be like, well, um... 12 is greater than 2, so hour now is not greater. But if you look at a 24-hour clock format, the program will read it as a 24-hour clock format. So in the 24-hour clock format, um, 2 p.m., if, if you say the time is 2 p.m., the 24-hour clock format will say it is 14 p.m. And 14, so you see here, it's 14, but my people like my grandparents might not know how to read um. 24 hour format clocks. So the program will convert it into a 12 hour clock format. And I bet a few of you don't know how to read them as well. So I, I am trying to make it simpler. So change hour now by negative 12 and AM or PM to PM. So it's 14 minus 12. If you do the math, it's two. So um, hour now is two, so that's true. So if you, um, if you don't get it, just tell me in the comments and set AM or PM to PM. And then this last one is false. These two are false because one of them are true, so two of them can't be true.
And then here we're going to decide how to write it. Um, if the minute now, that's 30, is greater than 9, then you do this one. So it would be hour now 2, a colon, minute now is 30, so 2.30 a.m. because, it, I mean p.m. because a.m. or p.m. is p.m. like we saw up there. Then the quote shown is to zero, and my school is done at 2.30, so it will write and say school is done, and set quote shown to one. And you see here it says if the quote trend is equal to zero, then do this part, but in this case it's not. So it's going to do this part. So only wrote it, it wrote time, quote, time. And this is the um, program for my smart clock. And if, uh, if there's any doubts, just hit me up in the comments. I hope you like this video and the program. If you have any doubts on the program, just hit me up in the comments below and I would um, love to answer you. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. And I'll be posting more such videos with Lego Robotics.